start with the breath. Okay. And you're going to do like a chest push. Okay. And make contact. You have to reach to make contact. You can't wait for him to come to you. So I, I don't wait here and just say, right, it's just the intention you already have. Okay? Okay, so you got the first thing. Don't, don't wait. Okay, so the first one, it's, uh, that's too late, you see? So you have to already be in that communion with him. Um, you have to feel it. It's a feeling, okay? But if you wait till you see it, it's too late. You're not in the feeling. The feeling is not in the eyes, okay? So whatever. You're on the feeling. Okay, now after that, so let's rewind the film a little bit. You kind of help yourself by staying out connected. You see that? So you can reach for him. See, he touched me. Okay? And reach for him. He never broke contact there. Do you see that? So, and that'll help you get that first rep eventually. It's kind of like the first rep is uh, you have a double action, single action trigger. Your double action first pull is a little harder shot than the single action subsequent pulls. Okay? But this, but in essence, it's the same trigger control. So you just you reach, you see. But after that, don't set back up. You're gonna have to do that double action pull over and over, and maybe you're not there for it. Okay. Uh, for you, uh, you don't want to do that. See how I'm kind of hunched in like that. Okay. So you have a different understanding of what rooting is. So your your understanding is here like that. Do you see? Okay. But what this is gonna do is compress your Tom Den feel. So I don't have that tension in my body. This I'm going to keep a natural spinal alignment. Not you got can you guys see that? Okay. So here is my root. It's not a physical, it's not a postural thing. Okay, then 
next thing I would like you to pay attention to is I'm, I called it ledging. Okay? So ledging is uh, when you try to find a ledge on him that you can push. Okay? So if you camera come closer, his little, his wrist bone right there, do you feel that ledge there? So I can physically push on that ledge. Or some obvious ones is here at the elbow. You see, there's a ledge there that you can push. Um, so task yourself with no ledge. Do you see how I'm doing that? And then uh, you can work better on your adhesions. Do you get that? Like press yourself to, uh, by challenging yourself, okay? So there's nothing wrong. So see, I, can do, I can't do an adhesion on the ledge. Do you see that? But maybe I come here instead, you see, and do the adhesion down there as I try to increase my skill, okay? All right, then for all of you, your torso is going to move. That's going to help you. Don't sit here with your shoulders in place and your arms are moving. You see that? Say my body is in place and your arms move. My body moves with him. Let's try it. Straighten your back. Don't cave your chest in. And then watch the ledging. Watch the ledging. Let's start over. I I shouldn't have to explain it over and over. Watch the hooking. Hooking is ledging. So you go. So sometimes uh, their hand comes in. You're pushing, right? Okay. okay so you, you see here. Then you don't need to do anything. This this hand does it. You see? This hand. You understand? The block. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So you because you did that happened to you a lot because what you tend to do is you open the arms. You see? You open the arms and then the arm the arm comes in and touches you here. See that? Or you feel it touching you there. So now you go and you're doing this stuff. You see? Well, the arm touches my torso. Do you see? Right. You got it? Okay, do you feel that friction there? Yes. Okay, you see? Right. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Right? Ooh. You see? So I don't need to clear the arm. Right. The arm, the arm touch part of my body and then I use that part of my body. Do you see that? The, when you go like this and the, you feel the arm go and you're like, oh, again, that's how you're being attached to the arm. Just play the feeling, the feeling, okay? Wherever the arm goes, it doesn't matter. The feeling, I do the feeling. Oh. Then you won't have to defend yourself so much, you see? It doesn't matter if you touch me, I'll do that.
okay, break, break. If you can, break. And then you come in, you see? Break. Okay? Let's try it again. Don't, if they touch you, you it's the same. You're touching them, it's the same. They're touching you, it's the same. At touch, control the center, okay? That's it. Reach more, stay reaching, don't come back and wait. Sorry. Stay in the relationship, he's over there. Don't set your torso back. Leave your torso, reach, go. Better. Good. There you go. Okay, so now we're going to keep all of those things, but let us play with the amount of penetration we have in his hot up. Okay? So I do, and I want to make his hot up move past himself. You see that? I'm going up. I'm, I'm, I'm training. Okay? I'm trying to make his hot up be totally outside his space. You see that? So before I see I go here, that's gonna take some off balance. But this time, I don't wanna boom, move that pot up, okay? That's what I'm trying to do. Move, boom, pot up, move, You don't want to start pushing, flexing. You gotta let it bounce and project back out. So you have to watch for your confusion between extension and tension. You see? And here I'm just pushing at him and he actually has my center, you see? Okay, just, the, the second you push at him, you give him your center. But when you let it go into the ground, it takes his center away, okay? So usually what happens is you task yourself with a displacement of the hara, your mind goes dichotomous, and then you just are tensing and pushing with your arms, okay? You're going into a, uh, uh, you disengage in between. You're not using the hint that I gave you. Or stay engaged, okay?
So what's happening is as you push on him, you see he has greater mass, so he, you're giving him your center when you push on him externally, and that's what's happening, okay? When it's not happening, it's because externally you have decreased his mass in the torso tilts. Do you see that? But uh, it's still external, okay? So that first double action pulls a bitch, okay? <laughs> you gotta get in her center. Better. Watch your your stomach crunching. It's a flexion. It's not. It's a. It's not. It's an improper understanding of the mechanics. You don't need to do that. Got some stomach crunching there, okay? Okay, so I, I understand that you, if you watch her body, okay, so she's pushing, there's a, there's a percussiveness to it. Can you see that? We'll do that same one again. You see? But now watch my body and see if you see a percussiveness. There, there isn't any, do you see? So what you, what's happening as you're observing the training is you see the percussion in the uke and then you do a percussion as the nage and that's not it. So now when you do your percussions, you're doing those external pushes, do you see? So I, I don't do those, those pushes. You, she's pushing into me and I just let that go to the ground. That's all I'm doing, let it go to the ground. So, it doesn't matter how much she, she pushes, we're not going anywhere, okay? So you can do it a slow, slow. You see? She aims in her center. Oh. Okay? And uh, as you go now, so let's stop the, the nage jerking, okay? Verse 10. Don't, you don't do that. The energy does that, and the uke does it, but not the nage. Okay? Your hands just move. And then what we'll do is, as you're going into projection, you have to, I want you to bring awareness to the slipperiness. Okay? The reason you lose the adhesion, the aiki, is again your external, you have too much yang in the hand, and it starts to move opposite this hand. You, you can only, uh, I, I want you to feel this, so I push, you see, it's very slippery, very slippery. But you see how it's gra it grabbed onto you, right? So as you push onto me, if I stay too much yin, you, you slip, you see that? But if I'm too much yang, I'll slip. I have to match you, so as you come in, I just keep matching that, you see? And the friction is increasing as we're going, right? So you, you're trying to push me, if I go light, you see how you got slippery. But in the same way, if I over yang you, I will get slippery again, okay? So you, you have that feeling, okay? And the more she pushes into me, the more yang I have to do to match it. You understand? And the less she pushes into me, the less yang I have to do. There's the stickiness. It's still there. You see? Okay? So maybe you start to feel like you're slipping. 
So what do you have to do? You got to yin more, okay? So you're like, oh, I'm starting to throw, but I'm slipping. Do you see? You'll start yinning more, and you'll come back. Okay? Got it? Now, it's always going to be like that. You're always going to raise your yang and yin levels in response to what I'm doing and also as a reaction to what I'm doing to you. So, for example, you might have a great deal of yang on the initial push. You see, when you have perfect posture. But as I start to take that posture, you're going to not have as much yang. And if I keep the initial yang level and I start to tilt you, you're losing it on this arm, you see this bottom arm down here. You see that? And if I keep pushing, then eventually I slip. So it has to decrease in order so that I can have the stickiness. It's constantly changing, constantly changing. Okay, you see that? You have to change your levels, okay? So usually, as I have coached a lot of people, is you smell the throw at this yang level and not realizing her yin and yang levels are changing and that's where you start to see that arm slip. So what you want to do instead is the feeling. If I want to be stuck here, I just, here at the right arm, you see, do you feel it? Okay, if I want to be stuck here, I just feel that. I don't really care about your throat. You understand? All right, so uh, just, uh, I'm going to do the same drill. If you're going to give me that arm, I'm going to use that arm. And I'm paying attention to whether I am sticking or slipping. Okay, with the same task of get her, you all right? Yes. Okay, don't disconnect like that. So, boom. Okay. okay, I'm paying attention how much slip I'm doing. And then I'm going to try to do the coaching tip, okay? Remember, you don't jerk. Yes. Switch rolls. You gotta displace the center in this drill.
You, you keep disconnecting your center. It's not healthy, okay? You don't want that energy going into a deflated tanden, okay? We'll switch rolls. You don't jerk. Displace. Displace. Look at him. Your, your mind gets taken by your eyes, so you should look at him until you can free your mind from your gaze, okay? Here, I want you to play, and we're going to now play uh, with the surface of his tandem. So the last one, I'm trying to get into his tandem. On this one, I'm going to touch his tandem. I'm touching it right now. Do you feel that? Okay, but I will not displace it. I'll just move it. Okay? This is going to make for a very uh, light, you'll feel how light the technique is. You see? Okay, very light. Light. Not, oh, see? I'm just kissing his tongue in. That's all I'm doing. I touch, touching it, but then not displacing it, just turning it. I want to get there because I want to show you some another drill you can do, okay? That's a little deeper. Yes, you okay. were just getting out of the way. Yes. Okay, so you, you were right, you, you were just getting out of the way. So in other words, you're just going here and just kind of turning that. Okay, but I'm gonna move, move that thing. You see that? Okay, but I'm not here, boom, you feel that? See, there's a displacement, you see? So I'm right on the cusp of it. So you can see, hachu. You see? Okay? I'm right on the cusp of it. I'm not going to get out of the way. Okay? I'm right. Okay, here we are. If I go any deeper, I'm going to start displacing. You see? But now, I use this connection. Stay there, please. And I'm going to move the front of your Tom Den field. But I'm not going to get out of the way. You see? So, there it is. You see that? And if I just get out of the way, nothing's going to happen here. But I'm going to move that. You see? I'm going to move it. You move it. Not, even here, I'm not going to not move it. You see? So again, you can see a little deeper. There's the projection. You see? Okay, so I'm here. I'm not going to get out of the way. I'm going to move just the surface of it. So, for example, you, that's where you came from. 
pull back towards there. You see? Okay? I, I have the center. Hi. You see a lot of pressure increase, yes, more good. friction increase Hi. here. Hi. You see that? Hi. So I'm going to move that center. So I'll show you something else that, that you could tell the difference by. So the first difference was you're right on the cusp of the projection. You see that? Second one is if you tried to reverse, you couldn't. Okay? And then the third one, we'll use that same angle again. There it is right there. Almost right there, you see? Don't do that. Move this, okay? And if I void entirely, notice where you want to fall, okay? Once I once you start to fall. You see? I want you to pay attention as you go. Just want you to feel it. Look how close you are. Watch, watch how you will have the idea, here's where I'm going to fall, but watch what happens. You see that? You, you went further, okay? So, and I want you to pay attention as we go on with the drill, that that's what's happening. You see, further than you want it to go. You see, further than you want it to go, okay? You see that? Because I'm just on the surface but with the same control. If, I, if we're here and I just turn out of the way, you just fall right there. You can feel that you could go back if you wanted to, do you see that? You pay attention, right? But I want to have this, this thing, Ooh. okay? Let's try it again. Further than she wants. There you go. Try not to hook. A hook is ledgy. You gotta penetrate a little bit more initially. Hi. Just don't displace. And then move the front of it a little better. Trust, you can't ledge. You don't, don't ledge, there's no need. They got slippery, right? And you ledged on the outside hand. Don't hook. Wherever you're touching is all you need. Hi. You keep ledging the yin hand. Falling where she is wants to, right? You have to take her beyond that. Okay, I'll let you play both ones, the penetration one, maybe. But I, I think you e more easily find what I'm about to show you uh, from what happens. So when you have their center, you, you obviously have control of their center. Right, so he goes, well, and we're, we're already, we're, we're here. You say, well, okay, but I'm taking control at that point, you see? And what I want to happen is I want him to give me control. And the way he'll give me control, you see how you're, you're ledging on me. Do you see that? Okay, so once he's ledging on me, I can void and he'll lose his balance. And it, we, it's just a drill. I want to be able to tell when you ledged on me, and then I want to practice non-reactionary behavior of I'm ledging you back. I, I'm going to just die on the technique, okay? So you'll find this much easier if you're doing this, moving his center, and then you just, you'll feel him on him, and then you'll just, you just let your arms drop, okay? Let, move his center, let it drop, okay? 
That, that's our drill because the, the, the first drill is really about releasing in, inside internally, you see? And here at this moment, someone's pushing on you and the uncultivated mind will push back. You see that? So we're going to use that stressor as the opportunity to develop the releasing skill. You got it? But you also have the desire of accomplishing the throw. Because you're not gonna, you're gonna release the throw too. You see that? And they should just fall. Okay? Let's try. You're like only releasing your hands, release everything. Let your whole arms drop, your whole mind drops. You totally disengage. So you gotta take her a little further, right? You gotta wait for her to ledge on you. You gotta take her further, she'll ledge on you, drop. So let, let me demonstrate it. It was probably a little hard for you to see, okay? So, uh, when I when I move her center, there it is. You see how I'm moving her center, and when she ledged, that's where you ledged on me right here. Did you feel that? Okay. The ledging is when you're using me to hold your balance up. Okay. So I'm gonna move her center, and when I feel the ledge, there it is right there. I let that ledge go. So I'm not going to just uh, take her and then stop. You see that? That's kind of what you were doing. I'm gonna take her into it, and there it is right there. So everything drops on my body. I want, I want a top to the head, to the bottom, a complete release, okay? Structure, intention, and tension, okay? <laughs> it's a little hard. Get rid of the attention too. You're, right now, your your attention is wanting her to fall. All right. Don't let go of that too. Oh, you're, let your whole body relax. Release. Don't, don't, no, I don't want to do it physically. I want to do it internally. I don't want to do it externally. I don't, I don't need to act like I got my pillow out and went to sleep. So you don't need to uh, crunch your spine again. Yes. Just let go of all of it. All right. Internally. Still got tension in your glutes and lower back. Same thing, it's still in your glutes. You gotta make sure he's ledging on you. So that time you went externally in and we didn't have the initial connection. Let's cycle through. You can feel like you're and see if you can see it too. There's like a, a slowness to the turning off, to the releasing, and it's also not complete. There's still parts, you're still, don't crunch your spine. She hadn't yet ledged. You have to feel it. See? <laughs> it's a feeling. It's don't, you don't go, oh, about now I should be able to do it, okay? okay? You have to feel her press on you. When she's pressing on you a lot, there you go. Again, you see the stutter in releasing? Breathe. Wow. 
Watch the hunch. Release all the way. Hands drop in space. Hands drop more. You don't, you don't pull them down, they just drop. Better. Better. It's too geometric. It's too, it's just levers holding up and then levers move, move, uh, moving out of the way. So think in terms of that friction. You feel that friction? You see? Right there it is right there. Right? Here it is right here. Okay? So when I go and you ledge on me, here, see how heavy you make that hand? It's the, it's the friction that I'm getting away, okay? So for example, uh, I won't take that hand down, but watch what's gonna happen to your, to your body with that hand. Pay attention, what's happening? It's slipping. it's slipping, do you see that? You see that? Okay. So I'm changing those uh, yin-yang values ratio to now generate a slip. So even if I move my hand, uh, here I'm under, do you see? I'm under, do you see that? It's not that I just move out of the way. I change the values so that she starts slipping. Do you feel it again? Look, you see? Look, 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 look. You see? So again, some of you ended up on the shoulder, right? And you see, there's me, there's me increasing the value. You see that? Oh, feel this. Pay attention. Look what's happening. Look. You see that? What? You see? Do you get that? So it's not that when you end up on the shoulder, it's not that you go like that because they'll come back into the yin space you created. So as she's on the shoulder, I push with it, you see? But when it's time to die, I, I let that shoulder go hyper yin to your value and you become slippery, okay? Do you understand that? Okay. Uh, any questions or comments? Yes. Well, that's crazy. It is crazy, but not if you understand in terms of yin and yang values. So, so for two surfaces to have friction, they must have a value of, uh, uh, you know, they must equal value of X. Do you see? Okay, well, which factors go into X? Yin and Yang. There's different ratios, do you see that? So if you don't have those ratios, then you can't create the friction. But likewise, if I don't want friction, I'll play that ratio for slipperiness, do you see? Okay, that's how it is, yeah. That was most of my pressure. Yeah, pressure. yeah, exactly. And that's what you want. And then you can just release it and the person doesn't have their balance anymore because you you were using me to hold your balance up. You see, and you can just yin, you just yin, you just release that and now you don't have a, a pad anymore. You could, if you wanted to, right, you could let it go into you and into the ground and come back out, do you see, and project with it. But if I want you to slip, I'm gonna to totally release it and you'll just slip off. Okay. Even when, as Nage, I had posture, I wasn't losing posture. When it came to try that release, I had that sort of internal catch as if I was falling, yeah. even if I wasn't. Yeah, was yeah, 
Yeah, no, I, 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 I'd like to use that to springboard on the comment I made is like your release is really slow and, uh, and then very partial. So it kind of reminds me like if there's, you know, every once in a while I, I'll tell the kids, hey, shut the lights off. And it's like taking forever for the lights to go off. And I'll usually go, hey, shut the light off. You know what I mean? That was like that. I'm like, hey, release. Hey, release. It's like, I am. You're, the kid is walking to there, but it's just taking longer, you know? Or you have those knobs where you change the illumination. And I go, no, all the way, not halfway, right? It's kind of looking, it looked like that. But it's just a matter of we got to get reps. We got to get the feeling. And then we can be comfortable with it. Right? Anything that you have to do faster is going to be more intense and that, is, that means more skill. Okay? Because skill is both, it's a, skill is a, an increase in uh, how fast you can do it, how long you can hold it, right? and under what conditions you can do it. Okay? So it's a higher skill. Anything else? Yes? I was trying to find architectures that would give me a, like a grosser feedback. I was yeah. having a hard time really getting a sense, especially with Virginia, maybe because of the weight mm. discrepancy between us, of feeling that she was really ledging on me. Yeah. So the techniques towards the end there, I was doing things to try to either get a reaction out of her where she would push back. Yeah. And that would give me a more gross, uh, noticeable point that mm -hmm. I could try to release. Mm -hmm. Whereas before it was too subtle and or I didn't have captured, I hadn't captured enough of her center to have, um, yeah. I didn't, I was like mm, in the dark, just what am I trying to release here? Yeah. Um, yeah. Not really knowing. I was wondering if you had any, maybe it uh, might yeah, game I, it too much. But no, I don't any. think so. I think <laughs> but you, you tried for a different way of generating her ledge. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what you did is like a, the push pull. Okay, so I push, you're gonna you're gonna pull, or vice versa. You know, you're trying to, and then so you're trying to like push into her, and then she'll push into right. you. You see that, and now she's ledging. Right. Uh, but the one that I gave you is if you take them past the point where they think they're going to roll, you take them past that, they will ledge on you because they had a particular capture of the mind. Here is that where I'm going to lower my shoulder. And the second you go, oh no, you're not. That's when they finally, that's what Kazushi is. That's how I'd like for you to understand Kazushi. It's not a, a simple tilting of the body. It's, I have your center. Do you see that? So when she goes to push here, it's already Kazushi. This, to me, this is Kazushi as opposed to you're here to stand still and I go like that. That's not Kazushi, you see? Your athlete is gonna be able to get out of this or work from here. But here, you feel that? That's Kazushi in the same way, because I have, her, I have her center, look, you see? Okay, so the same way, here you are not in a tilt, you see that? And you would think that if once I go here, you see, there I have your center again. You're actually in Kazushi, okay? So anything you move right now, you'll see that what, what the uninitiate would recognize as balance breaking. But I've already broken her balance because she does not control the center of her body. You see that? So as she starts to move whatever, she, do you see what happened to her face? You see that? That's Kazushi. So when she, when I move that center and she wants to roll there, she's trying to take control back of her center. You see that? But when I go, no, not there, over here, and this is all that pressure increase right here, and here's where I let it slip. You see that? So I find that is much easier to get somebody to ledge on you than to just push at you, okay? But if you wanted to have something similar to that, I would still keep with what I just described. What is Kazushi is you controlling the center, okay? And how do you control the center is that I am taking her yang energy 
right? And I am aiming it back into her tanden field. That's, now that's my tanden field, okay? So if you want, for example, I could project, you see? Oh, there, and then let it die. You see? Because even though you're going the other way, you will push on me as, as much as it makes no tactical sense. You just see people reaching for things, and right now, she, she, she is going to re, let's, let's try to do it this way. Let me try to explain it, okay? So I'm gonna get the projection, there it is. The, the, I'll show it right here, so boom, there it is, okay? And you see how her hand went out, do you see that? And so when her, when her, she's going out, her hand goes out, that's when I let it die. That would probably be better because the way they might push at you from a reactionary push-pull, right? You might not have their tanden, and then they will not ledge on you in the way that I'm describing for the catalyst for this release syndrome. Okay?